One is a gentleman who um, was suffering from kidney disease and he required a kidney transplant. And one of the known toxins to the nerves are the anti-rejection drugs that people have to take for the rest of their lives so that they can live out a reasonably normal lifespan with the new organ that they got. However, the anti-rejection drugs are a known toxin to nerves and they are very, very often the cause of peripheral neuropathy. This gentleman in particular had a kidney transplant and he thought when he had his transplant, found his donor, this was his new lease on life. He awoke from surgery with a fully function, function, fully functional kidney and he thought he was going to then just, you know, live a life of Riley, so to speak, and everything was going to be perfect. What he realized after several months was that the kidney was still working, but the anti-rejection drugs were causing a level of neuropathy that was becoming more of a problem for him than the things he was suffering from while he had kidney disease. So this gentleman, he couldn't go to work anymore. He was barely in his 40s with a vibrant wife, vibrant family, and could hardly walk around the house, could not play with his kids, couldn't do anything athletically. He had to give up golf. He played tennis, a popular sport recently is called pickleball. He's played pickleball. He had to give that up because the, the amount of pain that he was suffering in his feet and lower legs was so disabling that he couldn't function anymore in any way that he expected to because of having had that transplant. So under care, after several weeks, he started to feel differently. And within two to three months of treatment, and treatment here is the process. It's not a one-time, here's your prescription, see you later. It is a process where we expose the nerves to stimulation, circulation, increase oxygen, increase blood flow through various treatments, all FDA cleared, all very, very respected. But we put them in a, in a, in a, a cycle where they're receiving all of these things and within a reasonably short period of time, this gentleman felt differently. And before he was done with treatment, he explained that he was virtually symptom free. I remember distinctly, he wanted to time the end of his treatment with the graduation from high school from, for one of his children. And his biggest fear was his inability to walk from the stadium to his seat and then walk with his child for pictures after graduation. And I never thought of that since I don't suffer from that condition, but it was something that was so weighing heavily on his mind. That's all he talked about. And I am proud to say that he was present for that graduation and he walked to his seat and he walked with his daughter to uh, to get the the postgraduate pictures and, and and the like, 